Okay, everybody, welcome to homerecordingmadeeasy.com. And here on my YouTube channel, and here is part five of our issues that I've been having with third-party plugins with Studio One version five. And finally, I'm happy to report, at least on my ends, I have gotten it all fixed and squared away, and I want to share with you what I had to do and what I learned. First, I want to say thanks so much for everybody for the last four videos, posting all the helpful comments and letting us know what your issues are um, and what, what's working, what's not working, whether you're on a Mac, a PC. Um, m almost everyone was very, very constructive and that was great. Um, and as I said in one of those videos, maybe part two or part three, I forget, where PreSonus does watch these videos. Um, I spent about 90 minutes on Skype the other day with uh, Rick Nofke, who is the um, vice president of uh, sales and marketing. We spent some time together going through, he has a Mac at home as well, running Catalina, the operating system. Um, and we were going back and forth and trying to diagnose what might be going on. And I think I found the answer. So I wanna say thank you to Rick for spending time uh, Rick and PreSonus uh, was very happy that I was doing those videos because we were doing them in a constructive way. And that is super important. And I want to thank everybody for being constructive. So let me tell you first and foremost, what I did and what per Rick's suggestion, the first thing we did is he said, um, why don't you update to Catalina from Mojave and see if that fixes things. Um, and I did that. So the first thing I did is I updated from Mojave to Catalina because that's where most of their uh, testing was done was done on Catalina because Catalina has been out a while now um, and they said they're actually already ready. Studio One Five is already working with the next operating system for Mac, which is Big Sur, which is coming out, I think in about a month or so. They said they're already ahead of the curve on that. But when they released Studio One Five and when they were beta testing it, although I'm sure there were people at PreSonus working on Mojave testing all different types of operating systems, he said him himself, and the majority of people were working on Catalina and it was working fine. Trigger 2 was working fine, Superior Drummer was working fine, and all the Waves plugins, which was working fine, which were the three big things that most of us, I and most of you are having problems with, especially with Waves, and we'll talk about that. So the first thing I did is I upgraded to Catalina, as you can see here. When I upgraded to Catalina, nothing really changed. The only thing that got better for me, at least it appeared to work a little bit better with Superior Drummer 3. It was very, very close to what uh, Stephen Slate Drums was, SSD 5, and that worked great. But I was still having a problem with Trigger 2, and I also noticed that some about half of my Waves plugins weren't showing up in the browser. I was missing about half of those plugins which I couldn't understand. They were showing up in 4.6, but not showing up in five. Not really sure what that is, but I'll tell it, talk to you about waves in a second. As far as trigger two, the one thing that I noticed is that Rick was running um, trigger two, the platinum version. Now the platinum version was their upgraded version. They have two versions uh, Slate does, at least as of the recording of this video, the platinum version, and they had the EX version. When I bought my version, I bought the EX version years ago and I had never updated it because it, whatever they released years ago was still the current version that's on their website today, which was version 1.2 or 1.5, something was one point something. Rick, however, was running the Platinum version. Now, the only difference between the Platinum version and the EX version, there's a cost difference, is because the Platinum version comes with a lot more samples and stuff. And when I bought the EX version, it had plenty of samples for me. Plus I added a lot of my own drum samples. I had no reason to get the platinum version. However, what I discovered on Slate's website is that the platinum version has been updated since its release to version 2.1 something or another, where the EX version was one point something or another. So I said, geez, okay. And they were running a sale this week for $49. You can upgrade to the platinum version. So I went ahead and did that. As soon as I upgraded to the platinum version, Trigger 2 works absolutely fine. No problems at all. Here's Trigger 2. I can see I can move the window around. There's no jitter. There's no lag. Um, when I click on the browser folder, everything responds exactly how it did in 4.6 with the EX version. But the difference is I have a lot more samples here, things I'll never use, but that's okay. For 50 bucks, I got tons of toms, tons of snares now, tons of kick drums, and I could still add my own samples. The other thing is when you play this back, you will see the display works in real time. Everything, there's no lag, no hesitation, no nothing. 
I've only tested this out for about five minutes, but it's been working since the beginning. This is how the other version, the EX version, worked in 4.6. My guess is, and again, I had a hard time getting Slate to confirm this. My guess is that the EX version, the version that I had that has not been updated since its release, and I had the latest version, may have been a 32-bit plugin. This is probably a 64-bit plugin. And that's probably the reason. I guess that's the reason. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. I don't know that for a fact. That's what I'm gathering. So when I went to the Platinum version, which is version 2.1 something, you can look at their website, Trigger 2 works beautifully in Studio 1.5. So that's that's how Trigger was figured out. And again, if I as I use this and mixes more and more, if I see anything changing, I'll be sure to report back to all of you, but this is what I've noticed so far. So that's Trigger. On the Waves plugins, what I also noticed, like I said, some of my plugins were missing altogether. And now I got them all back. Here's what I found. I have a lot of Waves plugins, as you guys know. Um, I've been buying Waves plugins for years. A lot of the plugins that I use regularly, like the CLA 76, the CLA 2A, um, Vocal Writer, some of the older plugins, those were all version 9 plugins. Okay. And when you download, if you don't know, when you install Waves, you have this little application called Wave Central. The latest version of Wave Central right now is Wave Central 11, version 11. You can also install the legacy version, which is called Waves Central. You might be able to see it down here in my dock. That's for version 9 and I believe even version 10 plugins. Version 9 and version 10 plugins worked in 4.6 on Mojave but does not work in version five Catalina, at least for me, maybe for some of you on a Mac, that's not an issue. So when I went out to my account, it waves and realized I had the old versions. I have never upgraded them to the latest version. So what I did was I took a chance and I said, let me, they have their upgrade plans where you can upgrade from version nine, the same plugins to the new versions. And because I had so many of them, it cost me 240 bucks, which is really, oh, you know, sucks that I had to do that, but I wanted to try it. So I said, okay, but I got some good news. Uh, I upgraded all of my plugins that were version nine, version 10, and put everything on version 11. As soon as I did that, all of my plugins work perfectly um, in, in version 11. So again, I don't know if the version nine plugins, like I couldn't even use the SSL channel strip in this. I didn't even have it. It wouldn't even show up in the browser. Now it's here and everything is working perfectly. So my guess is that, again, those older versions, version 9, maybe even version 10, maybe those were 32-bit plugins and the version 11s are all 64-bit. Now, you don't need to upgrade every single plugin. You can go through and select if you have old Waves plugins and let's say, you know, you have 15 version 9 plugins, but only 10 of them you really use, the other five you never really use. Well, you can choose to upgrade just the 10 that you use. But because I had so many of them, I capped out at the highest price, which is 240 bucks. But the good news is, as soon as I did that, Wave sent me an email and they sent me a $240 voucher to use on anything else on their website. So kind of like Plugin Alliance um, does, I spent 240 bucks to upgrade my plugins, but now I have $240 worth of credit that as long as I use it before the end of, I think, October of this year, I can buy any of their other plugins. So... It's still 240 bucks, but at least I'm getting more than just the upgrade. So I upgraded all my plugins to version 11 and all the Waves plugins work absolutely perfect. The one plugin that is still posing an issue and Rick is, um, I think Rick is, has a relationship over at Sonarworks. That was the other plugin. Um, he is going to reach out to them because he just got Sonarworks himself for his new studio. He is going to measure his room and he wants to use that plugin as well in his room. So he's going to check those out. Now, when you first put Sonarworks on, uh, where is it here? I don't even see it in my list. Well, maybe it's here. Here it is. Um, it seems like when you first put it on, and I know in version five, I can put it on the listen bus. Some people said that. It, when you first put it on, it seems to work okay. What I noticed is after about five or 10 minutes, it starts to lag and it has that same laggy thing that happened um, with the slate trigger. I do have the latest version of this on my computer as far as I know, um, but I'm gonna do a little bit more research with Sonarworks and Rick is gonna do some as well and maybe we'll try to figure that out. But this is the only plugin now that seems to be an issue. 
um, for me anyway. All the other plugins that I've been having issues with seem to work fine. Um, even Superior Drummer 3, even though um, we're in Catalina now, I think... Okay, it's, it's the VST, not, and oh, believe me, I tested audio units and VSTs, and the audio units, some people that made comments said, well, I was using an audio units plugin, and that's the problem. That's not the problem, because we tested them both, and they both work. So here's Superior Drummer 3. And it seems like, it seems better in Catalina than it did in Mojave. There's not really any lag, but it's still a tad bit, I could tell, it's a tad bit delayed a little little bit but it's certainly usable from what i can see and if i go over to the grooves and i just let me turn down the volume here so we don't get blasted out here if i just pick a a thing here and drop it down here on the block and if i do a little loop so it looks like it's responding good okay on the meter Yeah, you could see it's a tiny bit, of, I mean, again, I'm being really picky. Not that it's not usable, it certainly is. But I can see that the window even hangs just a little bit. I also noticed this on Easy Drummer 2 in Catalina in Studio 1.5, but as I said, they're both very usable. Um, Easy Bass seems to be better. I did that in another video. Um, so I wouldn't say this is not usable. I wouldn't say this is not usable. But, and I also double checked to see that do I have, is there another version or an updated version of this that I don't have all my updates installed? I do have all my updates installed. Again, I would have to use this more extensively to see um, if that works, uh, how that's working out. And again, maybe because I have Sonar Works on here. Again, if I take Sonar Works off and I open up Superior Drummer again, will that make any difference? I don't know. No, it's about the same. And again, it's not bad. Yeah, there's just a, just a tiny bit, I mean, a tiny bit of hesitation. But again, it's usable from what I can tell. Um, I'm trying to think, is there any other plugins? Um, all the other plugins that I have seem to work just fine. All the virtual instruments seem to work just fine. All the other thing that I picked up here, because I thought, <laughs> you know... <laughs> Before I figured out what was going on with Trigger, I actually said, let me try another trigger, a sample replacement. And I picked up from Sweetwater Addictive, Tri Addictive Trigger 2 to see how that would work. And actually, I kind of like this better than Slate Trigger, to be totally honest. But this worked absolutely perfect, no problems at all. And, um, and this particular plugin has, I think, to be quite a bit more features and presets than... Um, than a, than a trigger. I kind of like this one, Addictive Trigger 2. So anyway, if any of you guys are worried, looking at Addictive Trigger, I don't have Addictive Drums, but Addictive Trigger, again, you can see how the window moves nice, nice around. Um, so I thought this was gonna have to be my default if I was gonna have to, you know, dump Trigger because I couldn't get it to work. But now that I got the Platinum version, now I have both. Now I have Trigger 2. Uh, trigger 2, Platinum, and I have Addictive Trigger. I have all updated Waves plugins, and everything, at least for now, seems to work for me. So again, I don't know if it's a combination between the operating systems going from Mojave to Catalina. If that had something to do with it, I don't know. Probably. Um, or because I was running some older versions of plugins that they didn't have updates for, and I wasn't aware. Maybe those are old 32-bit plugins and maybe that's the reason so I know a lot of yous had problems with waves where you people would say more than one probably a dozen people over the last three videos said that when they took their plugin and brought it onto the studio one screen it would open up as a blank box again check and see what version of the plugin you're running if you're running anything other than version 10 or 11 maybe that's the problem depending on your OS and again this is Mac based I know a lot of you Windows users aren't having these issues um some people mention things about possibly the graphics card or something like that might be an issue on PC and it might be the same on Mac. Me, Rick and I talked about that. He said that's not the problem, at least this, not this problem. So we don't think it's a computer related thing. It sounds like it's just a plug-in version and capability with the new OSs. 
And so this is one of the reasons why when you do upgrades on OSs and stuff, and a lot of people ask me, like when Big Sur for Mac is about to come out, should I upgrade right away? I would say no. <laughs> I would say hold off for six months until they work out all the bugs. Although Studio One Five supposedly will work with Big Sur, and it, I'm sure it will. But will all the plugin manufacturers be up to snuff with that? I don't know. Um, and that's where some of these problems could come in. So again, I hope these four, or this is now video five, I hope these videos were helpful to help some of you. Again, I really do appreciate everybody being very constructive and sharing your stuff. And again, it, it allowed me to get on the phone with Rick, and I want to thank Rick Nofke over PreSonus. He was very, very cool, uh, very, very responsive. And, uh, you know, he's getting involved in trying to find out back and forth. And uh, he was very, read through all of the comments and all the videos. He was very pleased. So I know there's a couple of people said, you know, why, you know, why are we doing this? This is making PreSonus look bad and they're going to get all upset. And they're not upset at all. As a matter of fact, they, he, they thanked me for doing the videos and because we're doing it in a constructive way. We're trying to be helpful. We're not here to bash anybody. We're trying to be helpful to figure out what's going on. And now, through my uh, some of my investigation and spending some money on my credit card, <laughs> I figured out what's going on with the help of Rick, and I'm passing along that information to you. So I hope it's helpful to you. Again, let me know in the comments below if you try some of these things that I just shared with you. Does that fix your problem? If you're still having issues with specific things, again, leave it below. If I have those plugins, I will try to um, do them for you, but I'm not going to go out and buy a bunch of plugins I don't have to test them for you. <laughs> okay. Um, and and if anything else, you know, let me know below. Um, I really do appreciate the support and I appreciate the um, the interaction. And until the next video, I've been Dave with HomeRecordingMadeEasy.com and MixingMadeEasy.net. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, everybody.